So this video here, we're going to be looking at index laws one and two, which is effectively understanding, multiplying, dividing, uh, and simplifying our terms. So hopefully by the end of it, you understand. We're going to need to do a quick recap on what index notation is, so what a what a uh, index and etc. looks like, and then we'll learn about in, index laws one and two. So firstly, just a recap of what we've covered previously, and that is understanding our powers and our indices. So when you're looking at a number like this, okay, what we have is a base number, and then we also have an index number. And that effectively means three to the power of five is that we are multiplying the base number by the time, by how many uh, indexes there are. For example, three to the power of five means that we times three five times. And a couple of things that when we're combining or simplifying our uh, like terms or we under applying index laws, You'll notice that we have 3 by 5 is times 3 by 2. And that effectively is saying that there is 8 there. And what we do there is adding the two indexes together. 5 plus 2 equals 7. Now the same will also applies, or the opposite, sorry, applies for division. So if we had 5 to the power of 10, it would look like this. If we had 5 to the power of 7, and what we can do is by applying our index laws, we can cancel out the 7, which leaves us with 3. And you'll notice that that is kind of like saying 10 minus 7. It might be confusing, but let's just get straight into the index law so we understand in a little bit more detail. So with that knowledge, we can apply these two index laws by multiplying and dividing. Okay, and the first index law, so index law 1 states that a to the m times a to the n equals or is the same as a of m plus n. Now, we're using uh, algebra terms there, etc. might be sound, sound confusing, but basically it means that if you have the same base, you can simply add the powers together. This is obviously when we're doing multiplication. You can add the powers together, and that is the same as saying the base times n times the base times n. So let's do an example of that, so what that looks like, and we'll apply it here in different scenarios. So first, you want to find the powers with the same base. Again, they always need to have the same base, and then we're going to combine them and add them and uh, simplify. So here, I can see that I've got the same base of 5. So there's an easy example here. The same base of 5, and I've got each of these exponents here. So basically, I'm just going 5 to the power of 3 plus 7 plus 2 which of course will be 5 to the power of 12. So I'm just adding those, okay, so as we go back, I'm just adding the index there, and all the powers, and when we're doing the multiplication. And another example, we can often get confused with this one. So again, I can look and I've got the same base, which will be A, okay, so I can start with A as my base, and then I'll look across now at the powers, and I have 3, and I have 3, but I have nothing there. But we know from algebra, that if there's just an A, there's a kind of a little a little one just above that, because it is only just one. So now I can just add them together. So I have three plus one plus three, which will give me A to the power of seven. Okay, so now we're gonna get into a little bit more tricky one, a bit more complex, so you'll see that we've got numbers, we've got powers, etc. Um, and this is one we often get. So what we're gonna do in this case is when you have numbers, you wanna do that first. And we're going to bring space, effectively expand this expression and then bring it together. So we're going to bring the numbers to the first. We're going to put it in order. So 2, this is basically says 2 times x to the 4 times y to the 3 times 5 times x to the 2 times y to the 8. And we're going to bring them all together. So we're going to put the numbers first. So we're basically saying 2 times 5. We've got two x's here. So 2 times x to the 4 times x to the 2, and we have two y's here as well with uh, the common base, so we have times y to the 3, times y to the 8, and now I can actually combine them using our formula processes with multiplication, so 2 times 5 is 10, I now have x to the 4 times x to the 2, so that's going to be effectively saying 4 plus 2, x 4 plus 2, and then I also have y, 3 plus 8, times y, 3 plus 8. OK, 
out, but it might put a multiplication symbol in there just for the sake. So now what I can do, I've got 10 times x to the 4 plus 2 times y to the 3 plus 8. I can combine them now using our index laws. So really this is saying 10x6, y11. Okay, so again, you just expand it, combine your simple uh, like terms and apply the index law 1. Now, if we look at index law 2, it's effectively the opposite to index law 1. And we'll see here that we're now working with division. So a to the m over a to the n is the same as a to the m minus n. So um, division is the opposite to multiplication. Subtraction is the opposite to addition. So it's effectively the opposite to that. So now instead of adding our powers, we're going to be subtracting them when we're using division. So again, we follow the same process. We find the powers with the same base, and then we subtract and combine. So first example here, quite easy. We have 10 over 8 divided by 10 over 5. So really, this is saying 10, 8 minus 5, which of course is 10 to the power of 3. Now, if we go to another example where we've got numbers involved, we want to do just like index law first, index law 1, sorry, we want to do this one first, and then we can move from so if we expand this, we basically have 10 over 4, and then multiplying that by x to the 6 minus, because we've got x here, 2, okay. So we've got to can cancel this down. We can't sort of solve this, but we can cancel. They both have a common factor of 2. So really this is 5 over 2, and then I can combine my index law number 2 here, which is x to the power of 4, because 6 minus 2 equals 4. So 5x4 over 2. Now a little bit more complicated again. Uh, we've got different uh, pro numerals and continuing on from there. So here we can cancel across through here and here. I can see that they've got the same powers. So I have a 10 minus 3. Let me write that again a bit better. So I have a 10 minus 3. And I also have B6 minus 2. So now I can combine these terms. So I have A to the 7, B to the 4. Okay, so index law 1 and index law, in, index law 2, sorry, uh, we just apply those processes. So we're subtracting our um, powers when we're doing index law 2, and we are adding our powers when we're applying index law 1. If you have any questions or none of that makes sense, please make sure you write them down and bring them into class so we can go over them in a bit more detail. But um, as we go through, we should be able to add a bit more uh, expansion on top of these topics. Thanks, guys.